This is the speed feed head. As you can see, this is a large speed feed head on here. So this is the big one. And this is a smaller one in, on this one, which the dude was telling me, you know, they put this on the new Shandalas and on the Echoes now, these smaller speed feeds. And uh, the dude was telling me that the new small speed, I have older ones that are small, but the new ones are supposed to be able to hold more line and you can get a lot more um, torque and stuff because it's that smaller head. So he was telling me they worked some stuff out with it to where it actually is, you can almost hold just as much in this as you can in the old ones. So I'll see about that because I know how much I cut off when I fill these up. So when I have to fill this up for the first time, I'll cut the same amount off and see if it fits in there. Um, but yeah, I can't really tell you too much about it. Um, it did work. I also, it was like really quiet when I ran it, which was nice. And it is a little heavier than the 254s, it's, but it was okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it just feels like good quality though, so I like that. Um, I did like the air filter system, seemed pretty good on there. Uh, one thing I kind of don't like is the gas tank looks kind of small compared to these. It, I'm not 100%, but just by eyeballing it, I would probably bet that that's probably only three-fourths of what this holds, maybe even less than that. It looks pretty small compared to this. It's it's not as deep, and it's also not as wide, so it's not very much gas you're going to put in there, but maybe it gets better uh, gas consumption, so you don't have to fill it up as much. I don't know. We'll see. But when I did use it, it ran fine and everything, which is to be expected. Of course, it's going to run fine. It's brand new. Um, I hate when people make a review of, like, a brand new piece of equipment, and they're like, yeah, it runs really good. Like, of course it runs really good. It's a brand new piece of equipment. Like, if it didn't run really good, then I'd have a serious problem. Um, but, yeah. Um, I also got the Hus new Husqvarna... Uh, backpack sprayer this thing's awesome it's real comfortable even when it's full it doesn't even feel like I have that much on my back so I like that it also has um, a really thick cable here it's supposed to be like mesh in there it's durable and everything so it won't mess up over time it's got a good little handle and stuff it seems pretty durable and I like the ones that have this stand on here because they can like stand up and um, they don't tump over real easy like in your car and all that so I like that and um, so if you get one of these I would recommend one that has like this the pump is in the middle down here that's the pump instead of like some of them that have the pump on the side I wouldn't get those I'd get the one like this this is a really good one I like it it was like 75 bucks or something but I like it and um Still got the same blower. We did have the Shindawa backpack blower, but it got stolen out of the back of our truck a couple weeks ago. We were doing a yard where it's like on a really busy street, so we have to park around the corner and just ride our equipment over. Well, uh, my buddy left his in the back and somebody jacked it, so we're down a blower. Um, and it was a perfectly good running Shindawa one. It was about three years old but it got stolen so now I got this cable and all that and I when I'm not using it I run it through there and I lock it up like in the back of the truck so people can't steal it or at least it'll take them a lot longer to steal it so uh, yeah Echo if you're watching this send me a blower man I need a good blower to do a review on we're missing one that's about 400 bucks I'm down this didn't get sent to me by Echo. I actually did buy this. I know, like, you see a lot of these videos on YouTube where um, Echo sends people equipment to review and stuff. Uh, they didn't send me this. I actually did buy this, so um, I'm not, like, being biased or anything. I'm not saying that those videos are biased, but, you know, I, I had to pay for mine, unfortunately. I'd love to get the free stuff, but I guess they don't like me. Um...
This is a little thing I carry my tools around in. A little rigid toolbox. It's like, I like it. It's got all kinds of different places. I put just, you never know what kind of tools you're going to need when you're out there working on stuff. So, um, this thing's awesome. It's got three separate toolboxes. They're all different sizes. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. It's really durable. It's got the little durable wheels on it and everything. I've had it since Christmas and I think it's awesome. Uh, last thing I will say is got this. Oh yeah. We do got the Echo Chainsaw too. And it, it still runs awesome. I've had it since uh, about November. And we use it every, every now and then. We don't use it every day, but we do use it every now and then. And it runs really good. I don't have any complaints about it. And uh, this is like a little setup I built for so I can put my mowers under there and stuff when it's raining and everything. And I got a bunch of junk push mowers everywhere. This is the push mower I still use. It's uh, good. It's still starting up every time. The little Honda Easy Start. No complaints on that. Still use this pretty much on a daily basis. And uh, also bought this air compressor because, you know, being in the lawn business, I'm always having flat tires if it's not the lawnmower or the trailer or the truck is something so i'm always gonna have something on with a stupid flat tire it makes me mad but i got sick of dealing with junk um air compressors and stuff so i finally bit the bullet and bought this dewalt one it's a, a 200 psi 15 gallon dewalt air compressor it's an electric it's not like a motor or nothing I mean gas motor it's just an electric motor and uh, I love this thing I can turn it on and it'll air up and like the whole thing will completely air up in like five minutes I can right when I turn it on I can fill up a tire no problem so I love it uh, I think it was like 400 bucks but it'll pay off in the end because I won't have to deal with stupid junk ones anymore but, um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, that's pretty much the new setup I'll let you know how the um, Echo Weed Eater is running here in a couple months you know I gotta do a real test on it I'm sure I'll, everything about it so far I like so we'll see how it goes um, I'll also I'll let y'all know about my Echo Blower when they send me one here in a little bit I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I can already tell.